the devastating reason Meghan Markle shut down her beloved blog amid the launch of a new brand. Meghan Markle may have launched her new brand American Riviera Orchard with a gorgeous website and Instagram account, but years before she met Prince Harry, she ran another much-loved blog, which has abruptly ended. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss anything about the British royal family. Meghan Markle has sent fans into a frenzy with the launch of her new business venture, American Riviera Orchard. The Duchess of Sussex has unveiled a website and accompanying Instagram account for the brand, although no further information on the matter is available. This is the first time Meghan has had a social media presence since she and Prince Harry sensationally quit as working royals four years ago. But before that, Meghan was apparently an old pro at social media and running a website after creating her beloved blog, The Tig. Meghan's passion project, named after her favorite wine Tignanello, has turned into a large online community of people who have read her thoughts on feminism, travel, arts, design and wellness. In some of her most memorable posts, Meghan spoke about her younger years before she rocketed to global fame, and in another, she admitted she struggled to kick unwanted habits. In a twist of fate, Meghan also blogged about the wedding of the Prince and Princess of Wales, writing about the pomp surrounding William and Kate's big day, seven years before her own royal wedding. But it all came to an annoying and abrupt end in 2017 before Meghan committed her life to Harry when they got engaged. The former Suits actress reportedly deleted the TIG to reduce the level of media scrutiny ahead of her wedding to Harry in 2018. A self-written blog, was thought to be likely to exacerbate interest and it was claimed she feared the TIG would be exploited, according to Ahmed Scobie and Caroline Durand in Search for Freedom book. Her blog was not so much the subject of criticism as it was used to spark false speculation about her personal life with the prince, they wrote. If she and Harry weren't seen for three days, someone on the gossip blog would post her acai bowl recipe and write a story saying that's what she was giving her new man. After Meghan decided to close the site, she left a tear-jerking final post, the only post currently left on the site, titled Goodbye, My Dear. The message to all my tick friends read, after almost three years beautiful on this adventure with you, it's time to say goodbye to the tick. What started as a passion project, my little engine has evolved into an amazing community of inspiration, support, fun and frivolity. You have made my days brighter and filled this experience with so much joy. Keep finding those tig eureka moments, keep laughing and taking risks and continue to be the change you desire to see in the world. Above all, never forget your worth, as I have said to you over and over again, you, my dear friend, are enough for you. Meghan ended her statement with the words, thank you for everything. An old-fashioned video was posted of Meghan cooking and arranging white hydrangeas and roses on American Riviera Orchard's new Instagram account. The short video is set to Nancy Wilson's song I Wish You Love, and concludes with the brand's logo, American Riviera Orchard, written in English. Luxurious gold writing above the word Montecito, the celebrity enclave near Santa Barbara in California is where the Duke and Duchess live.